Hello, my name is Albert Gurrier, and for the most part, I'm like a good majority of you out there. And we have an election coming up this Tuesday, and I look at my Facebook, I look at Twitter, I see a lot of divide, I see a lot of strife, I just see backbiting, things of that nature. I also see places where they, what some would say, well, a vote that's not for this person is actually a vote for someone else, even though that, that even though you're not voting for that person directly. Now, myself, I'm a political idiot for the most part. I can't. I don't claim to be any one of these pundits who, or talking heads, or people that spin narratives that make that makes you or gives you the impression that they know what they're talking about when in reality they don't really know anything. I'm not that type of person. Um, I do know, though, who I'm going to vote for this year. It's not going to be my th my purpose in this video to tell you who to vote for, who not to vote for. I'm just going to give you some thoughts in the head. Now, on the Republican side, you have Donald Trump. On the Democratic side, you have Hillary Clinton. Um, you also have, I think it's Gary Johnson. You also have Jill Stein, I think. You also have a lot of other people that's on the ballot running for different parties. Also, you could see you have writing capabilities. You could actually write in someone that you want to be president. Now, here's the thing. There's a lot of states that write-ins take, take a good dominance over the normal, over the normal, like, Democrat, Republican. The elections is not Democrat versus Republican. Those are the two parties that gets focused on the most, but they're not the, but they're basically not the only parties in the race. The media may, may make you wish that there, they'll make you think that there are just those two, but there's not. You have Libertarian, you have Green Party, you have... <laughs> You have so many out there. It's not even funny. Um, if you look at, if you look back in history, Millard Fillmore, the thirteenth president, I believe, he wasn't a Democrat. He wasn't a he wasn't a Republican. He was a Whig. He was of the Whig party, and he's the only president in the, in since presidents have been elected that wasn't of the Democratic or Republican party. Myself, this is what I'm telling you. Vote for who you strongly believe should be president. Don't feel that you're down to two choices. Don't feel like you have to vote for Hillary. Don't feel like you have to vote for Donald. Don't feel like you have to vote for all these other people just because they're a name on the ballot. If you feel strongly about, oh, like a Bernie Sanders, write him in. If you feel strongly about uh, Ben Carson, write him in. If you see anyone that was on the ballot previously, like, uh, like a Ted Cruz or a Carly Fiorentino or no, God, Fiorino, Fiorino, if there's anybody, if there's anyone that you feel that strongly about being president, write him in. If you feel that I should be president, write me in. <laughs> Don't know why you do that, but if you feel strongly that you think that I can represent your country well, write me in. Um, if you look at, if you've seen the movie Brewster's Millions, um, he pointed out the problems of voting for the two people that were in the race and basically encourage them to vote for none of the above. In this case, go out and vote. Make a difference. Make a difference. You don't have to vote for one or the other. Vote for who you want to. The choice is yours. Don't let other people take that choice away from you. Don't be the type of person that later on says, oh, uh, this person is, is poor and all that. It's like, did you vote? Nope. Guess what? Did you go in and like vote for someone that you felt strongly about? Or did you just choose the people that's on the ballot? The choice is yours. My, my children's future is in your hands. They're in my hands too with who I vote for, who I put in office. So if I go into the ballot, if I go into the election place and vote for Donald, then I'm thinking that strongly Donald's going to be the president is presidential material. If I go into the booth and vote for Hillary, then I'm thinking, okay, Hillary's a strong candidate for president, a strong, going to be a strong president. If I go in there and write someone in, 
like a Bernie Sanders or a Ben Car Carson or Ted Cruz or myself or anything of that nature, that's the person that I feel strongly that's going to lead this country the best way possible. It's not just Trump. It's not just Clinton. It's basically who you choose, who you want to be president. There are many states, I think there's nine, like I said, that right in take the will take strong presidents because those who those are who the electoral people are going to vote for. So, and at the end of this, it's a person has the majority vote that goes in. Now, if there isn't that majority vote, then there's then there's a vote process to determine who's going to be president. But it doesn't just have to be Trump or Trump or Hillary. So make the choice. If you feel like writing in, write him in. If you feel like voting for one of the big two, that's your doors as well. But don't feel like you're stuck with one or the other. So that's gonna be it. Just keep just keep this in mind when you go to the polls between now and Tuesday. The choice is not just two. The choice is who you strongly feel should become the next president of the United States. That's my opinion. My name is Albert Gurrier. I approve this message. Goodbye for now.